Bienvenidos a Chat Chao TV. Estamos hoy en la casa de Roberto Guerra. We've been invited to the home of Roberto Guerra, creator of La Caja China. Uh, we're drinking a uh, Maliduca. Some vinito. Some vinito, right. Some vinito. Salud. Salud. It's the first time I've bust out some Cuban on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Salud. So your family, it was it you and your father, right, created La Caja China? You're in the flesh? Correct. Back in 1955, 56, my father happened to see a, um, a contraption, something similar to what we do in here in El Barrio Chino in Havana. Okay. We had a large population of uh, Chinese in Cuba. And we did a prototype in 1986, and then we started selling in 1987. Now, for those uh, gringos out there that don't know what La Caja China is, explain it uh, in a, like a sentence or two. Basically, La Caja China is a wood box and it's lined with aluminum. Okay. And the heat goes on the top. And that's a good thing about it, it's that it's uh, indirect heat. There's no heat source on the bottom, so that means you have no flare-ups, no drippings, and you, have a, you don't have such a dry atmosphere. That's why your, your, your meats are more moist and tender mm -hmm. when you cook them in La Caja China. Okay. There are three models, right, of, of La Caja China? Right. And we what's have, the difference, or four? We have four. Okay. Three of the originals. Uh, the difference on, on them is, is uh, the size of the animal that you can cook. For example, in model one, you can do up to 70 pounds, whole pig or whole lamb or goat. On the Model 2, you can do up to 100, 110 pounds, same thing, pig, lamb, or goat. And on the Model 3, which is a more of a personal box, you can cook up to an 18 pound. You know, like wow. you can do like 18 pound pig, it's hard to find here in the States, but you can do like two pork shoulders, three chickens, you know, one turkey. <laughs> so, that, that was my next question was, what else can you cook? It doesn't oh, have to be lechon that you can no, cook in there. No, I have customers who do pizza in there. Uh, pizza. As a matter of fact, we're creating a pizza plate uh, for, you know, stone for, for, for those guys that do pizza. Kind of like an add-on. Yeah, it, 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 this, is, this is, remember, this is, this is like, a, like an oven. You can do lamb, goat, you know, lobster. They, in uh, New, New England, they do a lot of uh, lobster clam bake inside the box. Where can you purchase a La Caja China? Well, you can purchase it online on okay. lacajachina.com. La Caja China. Or you can go to Lowe's, Publix, uh, you know, Ace Hardware's. All of those places. Yeah. Now, in, in Miami or in South Florida, what are some of the, where can you buy pigs? I don't, I Well, don't. The, the only slaughterhouse okay. uh, left in Day County, it's Matadero Cabrera. Matadero which, Cabrera. They're right on uh, west of the Turnpike on Okeechobee. Plus, for the holidays, you can buy whole pigs in Publix, Sedan, right. or Windix, anywhere. That's what we know in Christmas every especially cubans they have to roast a whole pig oh yeah that's like tradition right? it is yeah. it's a must it's, it's a must what is the secret to making the perfect lechon besides having a caja china well the secret to a perfect lechon i i really think is like any other meat is a seasoning okay it's important to have the right amount of salt first of all and then the spices that you like and the spices that go with that dish to me, the most important thing is salt. It's, you have to be right there. Now, a lot salt. of salt, a little salt. What are we talking? Really? And pig, you, you add a lot of salt. You do? Yeah. And you rub it? How does it work? You rub it. And you see, the salt only stays outside. And you do it the night before. Okay. So all that salt really is, you know, sinking in into the meat. And then, plus, the, the cajachina comes with an injector. Okay. So what you do is you strain your mojo. We, we have our own mojo and adobo. Ooh. Which is the That's most like expensive. My favorite part. <laughs> the most expensive, but the best mojo because it has fresh garlic and pineapple juice. Okay. What pineapple you do is juice. yes. Okay. You have to strain it, you know, so you don't clog up the needle. And what you do, you strain our mojo and you inject it like five or six shots onto the hams, and three or five shots into the into the shoulder, and then the solids you just dump them back into the uh, rib cage of the pig. Wow. And we do that overnight. And you said, we were talking before briefly, and you mentioned how easy it was for anybody to be able to do this, right? Oh, this is, this is, La Caja China is foolproof. So I don't know how to cook. I'm sure it could totally. You can do, a, you can have a perfect pig just like the one I do. Just follow instructions, 
add charcoal every hour, and if you use a wire meat thermometer, it's even simpler. You attach the probe into right. the ham, and you're gonna add charcoal every hour until you reach 187, which that should be around four hours of cooking. Once you reach 187, the fat is hot enough where you can crispy the skin. So that's when we dispose of the ashes, flip the pig, and score the skin. Oh, and in 20 minutes, you have a crispy skin. Oh, my mouth is watering just thinking about it. <laughs> have you seen, and I, I have to ask this, have you seen the McDonald's billboard? Yes. I, I know, have. what do you say to McDonald's? I mean, that's like, they kind of took a stab, put away la caja china. Well, it, it, that was fun. <laughs> well, it, was yeah, it was fun. fun. <laughs> I mean, they asked for our permission, of course, we say yes. And of course, they're trying to bring the association of a good pork product with La Caja China. Yeah, definitely. But uh, it was fun. And, uh, and, so and they I'm did great. call you for permission. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Remember, it's a trademark, so yes. they have to call us. Oh, okay. Jeff McGinnis, he's from Yardbird. I don't know, I'm not sure if you've heard of them. They do Southern cooking, they just opened. He was actually on Top Chef, did Gigi's. Now he's doing a new venture, it's called Yardbird. And he had a question for you. His brother owns a La Caja China and they wanted to know if you do annual competitions. We're working on it. Okay. It's just like we're looking into do like a Caja China ranch. Oh. Which everything's gonna be incorporated, you know, the factory, a restaurant, you know, a showroom, a cigar room, because we have cigars, we have mojito, we have everything. And one of the things we're gonna have is we wanna start doing uh, competitions every year. That's right. Caja China Cook-Off. Caja China Cook-Off. I like it. Yeah. All right. Well, I have to let him know so his brother can enter. So he and his brother can enter. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much.